Tonight, on Michigan Uncovered, the crew tests out Ouija boards in an epic Halloween special. I'm Cruz. With nothing but my camera and my crew, I explore the haunted towns of rural Michigan. My paranormal expeditions have taken me to the most mysterious places and exposed the strangest of legends. This is Michigan Uncovered. In the spirit of Halloween, we decided to test the paranormal claims of the infamous Ouija board. The first actual Ouija board was created in 1890 as a popular novelty item. But after its appearance in The Exorcist, people saw the Ouija board as a portal from hell. In fact, in Alamogordo, New Mexico, it was burned along with the Harry Potter books. I know during World War I, the Ouija board became really popular when people were trying to contact the spirits of dead soldiers. A lot of mainstream religions tell their followers not to use Ouija boards because of the fact of demonic possession. We had to purchase one of these spirit boards, so we decided to head out. Seeing as Ouija boards are a registered trademark of Hasbro, you can pick one up at almost any local Target. I think Ouija boards are like a parlor game. It's fun to try and play with it and see what happens, but I don't think they're serious. Right next to Operation is my portal to hell. We'd need a perfect area to test our Ouija board. The answer? Blood Road. Located in Metamora, Michigan, we had previously done two investigations here. Do you want me to leave? Holy dude, did, did, did something just like seriously rub up against my back? Please, we really just want to contact you. If you want us to leave, just tell us. Ah! Holy sh! Oh my god! What? Dead serious. All right, so there's, I swear, I just look over there right now and then figure like goes like this and leaps into the tree and disappears. Being a former satanic worshiping ground, this would provide an excellent area to test our spirit board. For the MU Halloween special, will you do isolation? Maybe. Hey, shake with it right now. Shake. No. You gotta shake. It's a maybe. I'm not. I'm not saying yes. Come on, just shake. It's isolation. a maybe. Maybe. What? Then it's a no. No. It's leaning more towards more yes, but I'm not. Then then shake that you are. Just do it, dude. I'll do it. Come at me, bro. They better not. So Come you at are. me. You have to go. Yeah. But we still had a few hours before nightfall. Some may call it cheating, but we just call it shortcut. I don't. I wouldn't eat it. I dare you to eat it. Just try a little bite. Oh my god! It, it's all dusty. Ready? This is kind of a ghetto corn maze. <laughs> We're gonna have Jake and Evie do Ouija board because from the instructions I have read, which I've been doing a lot of research, you need to use a boy and a girl. You guys have to be dead serious. Like you have to really believe that you're gonna get something out of this. Like no jokes, no laughing, dead serious. You have to be relaxed. Don't let anything distract you or interrupt you. Just sit there completely relaxed. Be patient, it's not gonna work immediately. Um, and the thing is, we already know this place is haunted, so you are gonna get some activity, but we wanna see what the Ouija board can do. But just as we were setting up, my mom's iPhone caught this image. Although strange, it's not conclusive. This is Jake and Eve's Ouija board session. All right, we need to warm it up. The first step for using the Ouija board is to move the oracle around, warming it up. Is anybody here? You want us to leave? Just then, our Sony HDV camcorder shut off for no reason. It had a full battery. Will you show yourself? Do you want us to leave? Even in perfect conditions, the Ouija board didn't do anything. So we decided to try it with two different subjects. It's in the on. Okay, now it's turning back on. That was weird. That's weird. This is Crucian Colton doing a Ouija board session. Just then, our microphone captured a strange EVP. This is Crucian Colton doing a Ouija board session. A Ouija board session. A Ouija board session. 
Okay, so my opinions on the Ouija board is that I'm very skeptical. I've used them several times before, and I really haven't gotten anything. If any spirit is here, could you please try to contact us through this Ouija board? Did it just do it again? Yeah, the camera just shut off. Why does it keep shutting off? It's not, it doesn't have like a sleep mode or anything. So after our batteries are shutting off, full batteries shutting off, and um, really not getting much with the Ouija board, we're gonna try again. You ready? It just stopped. Oh my gosh, is it, the camera has a full battery in it right now. Let's try again. Oh my gosh, what? the battery just jumped. The battery's dead. What's going on? With all these camera troubles, we knew we were in the presence of something. Were you the one who was turning off the camera? Can you please try to contact us through this Ouija board? Do you want us to leave? Is anyone there? Without any responses, we decided to have our most sensitive member do isolation. Hello, I'm Colton. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk. I'm speaking so bad I'm not even cold. If you're here, can you do something to show your presence? <sighs> like everything around me just moved all at once. Do you want me to leave? Oh, okay. I thought I heard like a really loud moan, almost yell, like off in the swamp. Colton was right. You can clearly hear a female scream off in the distance. But just as we were leaving... Hello? Hi, Dad. It's Deb. I, you and I can't oh, believe this, but my car is dead. We're on Blood Road. Oh, oh, Turn that thing off! Yeah, we were just getting ready to leave to head home, and the car just won't start. Our night on Blood Road had been an interesting one, but my views on the Ouija board haven't changed. In my opinion, the Ouija board is an overhyped toy. Testing our spirit board at an old satanic worshipping ground should have given us some incredible results. But we arguably proved that Ouija boards are nothing but a silly parlor game. Oh, oh.